Jennifer Aniston, good old um, friend of mine. You know, we've been uh, on and off for a couple of years. She was two pictures. I wasn't unfortunately in them, but, uh, you know, of different pads she was at that I visited. Nice lady. Uh, you know, she's part of Friends, if you guys know that show, and a bunch of shitty rom-coms uh, that, she, you know, she started and usually got her heart broken, and that's just how it goes, is that, uh, you know, some fuck shit happens. She gets dumped or cheated on or, you know, is like fucking struggling with some shit and then you know during the middle of the fucking movie she has like some fucking realization where she fixes everything in her fucking life finds some fucking man and you know for me that was fine because that's what paid the bills for her and got these fucking sick pads even though she was with me in real life the whole time when she wasn't acting this place kind of nice look at it beautiful i prefer this one though nice and open very beautiful reminds me of home british columbia um she did also have a thing with brad pitt which is one of her biggest accomplishments i think uh, but that was when I was still a child. And I mean, she, he did move on to Angelina Jolie after, who I'm also a fan of and may introduce you guys to at some point. But for now, you know, Angelina and I, we don't really talk about what we have going on at the moment. Uh, that's the thing for another day. I don't know if I'd actually say, say that I'm like a massive fan of Fragile Yord, but I'm definitely a fan for sure. Chant of Trolls. It's good against like the single target stuff they do, but it's not like that strong. It'll block like Ezreal getting uh, a hit sometimes, just nice. I'm just not sure if I prefer it against like this exact deck over like better cards like Omen Hawk early. I think that like this outcome I prefer because the um, the Outriders plus the Trapper is such a broken combo. You get like a one mana 88 Overwhelm fucking um, Yeti. It's just like it's not like game over on the spot, but it's just it's so insane that you're just so favored to win that you honestly can't lose. My friend, you take full damage. My card says Overwhelm. It was a nice try though. Good night, Master of Athletes that are digital. What are your thoughts uh, about monuments that are new? I like the Teemo landmark a lot. I'm a big fan of that. Um, the Teemo one being the PNZ one. I think Victor as a card is one of the most interesting, uh, the most interesting champions released so far because he's one of the champions actually that uh, the developers have decided to actually just leave as being good by itself and sodable in a lot of different decks. Which, uh, as far as, like, card releases have gone and, like, them being just like, so kind of, um, slow spurts for this game, I've actually personally not really liked a ton for what Runeterra's done. I think that a lot of the cards that they create for this game are really forced on archetypes, and I don't like that myself when I play card games. I prefer having, like, a very wide variety of options that I can put my decks or my cards into and have, uh, you know, more unique, uh, options as far as deck building goes. Which is something that I think Runeterra has kind of lacked so far. Because a lot of the stuff, like, you know, creating deep as an archetype, for uh, for example, just, like, forces you to play all those deep cards in your deck. Or, like, Ash forces you to play all these freeze cards. Which thematically is cool, but I think from, like, a deck building perspective is really fucking boring. So I would say I'm pretty excited about um, a champion like Victor that fits in a lot of different decks that you can get creative with. I think that a lot of the other cards announced, like these were the ones today. I like Pesky Spectre a lot. This is going to be a fun one to play with. I like uh, messing around with cards like this. They're obviously not very good, but they're like really fun to, to play with. Because, you know, you just got to have like a fun, different game. Like, like a play style that's like a lot different than what you're used to, where you just like fuck with your opponent, basically. Nishi Stalker's cool. Grand Plaza. Whenever an ally summon, give a plus one, one in challenge of this round. Doesn't really fit with like curved Demacia play styles, but that is actually like, no, it's so sad to play against, honestly. So strong. 4 mana 5, 4 D-Break, give me life steal strength. That's pretty strong. Really good defensive option for Targon Dax. It's actually kind of nuts. That's a fun card. Reduce the cost of a random card in each player's hand to 0 this round. That's fun as fuck. A 5 too. Damn. Kind of cool. Fragelyord is your favorite region. That's interesting. Why is Fragelyord your favorite region? What makes Fragelyord a step above the rest? This card is actually insane, holy shit. I actually think that I kill it over Ezreal every time. Would Pesky Spectre also give your own deck two copies? After it dies on your opponent's board, wouldn't that be bad for you as well? Yeah, but the idea of what your deck is when you're playing Pesky Spectre is you're just fucking with your opponent anyways, so it's the point. It doesn't really matter. If your deck's whole idea is you're just fucking with your opponent, then it's gonna fun. Because then you fuck with them more.
Again with the glimpse of the overwhelm card, man. Like, why don't you glimpse your 1-3 that's going to die to something without overwhelm? You're just taking 5 damage for no reason. I guess it doesn't actually matter because the damage is getting blocked no matter what, but... It's kind of a weird one, is all. Uh, I just play the uh, wild because I'm close to winning and I have two big overwhelm cards. Otherwise, I usually go like a Rider's Bank. Oh. It would be a shame if somebody played a broken card. He's like, no, this is not possible. I've done the math. I've ran the numbers. You were not allowed to do this, my friend. But we did it anyways, gentlemen. For Jellyord, big guy strike again. Easy dub. I think my friend... Oh, he's not dead. Fuck. Well. That's awkward. Very awkward. I will buff my whole deck, I think? And play a card that draws cards? Yeah. Okay. I will now buff cards in my deck. And then draw a really big card. Turbo double buff. The next card in my deck has plus 6-6 six, six and super overwhelm. That's kind of a buff. Sort of strong. So, you are telling me I can give it a card plus 8 attack, plus 4 health, and then give it plus 2 attack and plus 1 health, and draw 1 for 10 mana. That sounds like a deal to me, gentlemen. A very good surrender, yes sir. Okay. I will keep a broken card in my hand, because broken cards are good, I think. What is this game? This is uh, called Legends of Runeterra. It is a card game that spawned an entire universe of games, um, shooters like Valorant, basically CSGO, but your guys have abilities and there's no Dust 2, so it's actually really not worth playing in my opinion. Um, they really need to recreate Dust 2 and then the game will be fun. Until then, it's kind of a shit game if I, uh, if I do say so myself. And um, what else does this game have? Let's see. It also has um, other cool things. Wow, cool play, man. And then I'll play like a Vile Feast and be like, I got the best of this guy. Yeah, you definitely did, dude. You definitely did. You shit on me, man. Close enough. That's funny. It also spawned a popular MOBA game, League of Legends. You may have heard of it. It's actually so popular it's getting made into a mobile game, Wild Rift. And there's some things with like tactics and team fights that they play too sometimes. Basically just a bunch of games. It's kind of fun. I really should have played the Ruthless Raider so I could have played the Battle Fury here. I was not thinking at all. I had the perfect opportunity to like just gangbang his face in and now like gangbang your face in play is actually not that good. And I'm still kind of considering just open attacking with this and doing it, but it's not going to be that strong, so... I probably won't. Yeah, I'll probably just play this and call myself a pussy. I fucked up. That would have been actually a really nutty play and I just actually ruined it. That's how it goes, though. Do I have any idea how corrupt Justin Trudeau is? I honestly have no clue. I really don't. Please enlighten me, good sir. I don't know what I'll do without learning how corrupt somebody in, politician, or in politics is. I can't believe that's surprising to people, honestly. Like, I just figured that they were all shitters and you just have to pick like the least shitty of the bunch, basically. I don't know that much about politics though, so don't ask me. Um, I kind of want to play the Wild Claw card. Cards with Overwhelm are good because then I can Battle Fury them. I 
I attack one time. What would you do if I just added eight damage to my attack? Boom. Oh, wait, fuck. Um, I maybe could have killed him. But this is a better play because then I don't play into Vengeance. And I kill the Trundle. Much better play. It's quite good if I do see so myself. Uh oh. Not my 11 to you. What will we do without my 11 to you? Oh fuck. Um. Hmm. Well. This is actually kind of a bigger deal than I thought it would be. My 11 and 2 will die and he'll get a Ledros and then I still just attack and win, so we're fine. Unless he plays a Vile Feast. If I troll chant the Vile Feast, I don't think it matters. He can, it is there, yes. It is in fact on that profile. When he plays Renation, this is going to feel so bad. I think we already checked for Vengeance, so I should just do this, I think. No Vengeance, no Vengeance, no Vengeance. I can't really make myself do three more damage now, which kind of sucks. But, um, yeah. He can't play Ledros this round, I guess, so it's winnable. Winnable, winnable, winnable. Paul Gers, Paul Gers, Paul Gers. I will now buff my entire deck by plus one one and then play in another big ass overwhelm card that I will then summon and play. And then we will attack and win. Oh nice, it's a big unit. I can't, I have to do this next turn to play on Atrocity I think. Should have played the buffed one as well. It's a five attack unit that is less than seven. But I think we played around atrocity, boys. We definitely played around atrocity. Let's go. Okay. Turn up. Let us get it. And shit. Okay. I do not ever play around the file now. It's not who I am. It's not what I was meant to do. And it's not what I will do. Fuck the file. Oh, dog, I hate them. Okay, well, that's a four drop. We're against Draven Ez. Let's do this. Look for like one or two. Another three and another four. I don't like that. You can play this on four because it's on odds. So you can play this on five for three. This is okay. It's not ideal, but you dig it. You can't find the deck? Oh no! What are we gonna do? Nightbot's messing with you? It might be. Yeah. I myself would never do that, but Nightbot, I mean, Nightbot might. Kinda fucked up. Bop. Pull up on your block with the op. Bang bang. Is that a... Thermogenic beam? Nope, it's a pass. It was a thermogenic beam, though. I would bet good money on that. Good money being the three dollars I have in my bank account. I would also bet that I'm gonna play the ancient, uh, sorry, the Avarus and Outriders here, and it's gonna hit my one mana five five and make it a one mana eight eight with overwhelm, and it's gonna be really cool. And then I'm gonna play my one mana eight eight with overwhelm and an ancient yeti for three mana. And our turn fives is gonna be fucking nice. That's my bet. Yeah, it's pretty good, because then you keep your allegiance stuff. There's a nice thing with Pale Cascade, is it's like, it's so broken, you're just going to keep it all the time anyways. It's like, why not just have a card that gives you plus two, one, and a card draw? Uh, I could do this here, because it's like, guaranteed. Kind of, but it's also maybe not the best. But I got the, um, the one mana 80 now, so I like it. Well, okay. The one mana 80. kind of strong. 
I wonder how he will match. He sees the three mana five five and he's like, shit, that's big. What he does not know is I have um, a Yeti that's like, instead of ancient, enraged. And the ones that are angry or scarier, in my opinion, are the ones that are ancient. Don't take my word for it, right? It's just what I think. Okay, well, I'll attack one time. It's, good. it's a pretty good attack one time. Okay, and we kind of kill his board and do 7 trillion damage, so that's good. Sort of playing this deck as a view, and I love it. Dude, it's really fun, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, these are just dope. I hope they get more support in the future. They're already really strong, though, so I hope it's not, like, overwhelmingly crazy support. Got it because of the overwhelm in the deck. Man, I'm funny as fuck, dude. Holy shit. Oh, he lost an Ezreal. It's so sad. F's in the chat for this guy, boys. Goddamn. That is so sad. Aw. That's also sad. But now I have 7 mana 6-6. Six, six. And he'll have no cards that'll damage my stuff and then allow him to kill us. So it's very good. I think we may have won. Unless. Oh shit. Fuck. Guillotine number two. The counter to guillotine number two. Heal your card up. It's crazy. I got baited. The counter to whatever I just did, stun my cards. You get a whole nother turn or two. Insane. Oh no, my friend has decided to play cards that'll block my cards so I don't just win the game next turn. What a sad moment for gamers worldwide. I don't just get an auto win. What a tragedy. Why play this deck over Ash Sejuani? I don't know. Why play this game over Pokemon Go? Or why even bother playing video games instead of just like playing hentai simulators? I don't fucking know. Or why even play video games instead of just fucking getting a job at McDonald's so I can buy a fucking sugar baby? I don't fucking know. I have no clue why people do what they do, man. We just do what we do because we want to do what we do. Right now, I want to play with big-ass fucking yetis and strap on battle theories. I don't feel like freezing my opponents to death. I feel like fucking hitting the head and killing them. Hopefully that answers your question. Dude, you have in and out No. Fucking Americans, man. I swear to God. Dude, it's that shit in Chick-fil-A, dude. Every time I go to the States, man. Fuck. So good. Chick-fil-A, man. That shit just hits different, dude. in and out the same kind of way. For real. Too good. Okay, come on, man. Come, you gotta relax, okay? There's only so much. There's only so much flexing you're allowed to do. After that, you're banned. No more flexing. Now. I'm getting bonked. I'm gonna just open. I can develop more units than him usually, but he might be able to just like play chump blockers or some shit. I'm gonna play this afterwards when I think then I attack. Insane. I should not have lethal now. I may actually be dead to his Ezreal. He has three damage in hand from the Shrooms. He'll do four with Ezreal next round, minimum. Nope. He's kind of dead there. Kind of dead there. Okay, well, we probably win then. My mathematics were off by a little bit. GG. I have been informed that I pizza upstairs.